There's a moment you know You're fucked Uh, nervous. <laughs> anyway, thank you for stepping up and helping us on the tech side. How is it, Ben? How is it? Uh, nerve. I mean, uh, great. <laughs> Sounds great, too. <laughs> it's awkward how when some people get on camera, they just can't keep it together. Not that I'm pointing fingers. <laughs> anyway, Sean, um, you work at Sweet Cow Ice Cream. I do. Do you oh like God. unwinding with a cool treat after uh, a hard day work? I, I, I really do. What's yes. your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mint chocolate chips. If you had to turn a vegetable into an ice cream, what would, what vegetable ice cream would you make? Uh, cucumbers. Mm, Why is good. the peanut gallery so talkative today? You could also do a carrot. It could be like a carrot. Carrot fingers would be delicious. We love you. I did not get the gallery. Yes. Thank yes. you for asking. We love you. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, Sean. Thank you for being here. We've been running nonstop for the past, I don't know, five hours? Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, how'd the gallery go? Really well. Do you think my makeshift microphone so I found it on a trash can? I think it's great. Thank you. Um, so anyways, how I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm ready to eat though. Oh, what are you gonna get? I don't know. What's a cast favorite here? On three, yell your favorite food. One, two, three. Mexican food. Mexican food. Okay. Um, so Jimmy, how is striking the set? We did it in under 50 minutes. We're so. really kicking, kicking butt here. I know I'm sweating. Everyone is. It's really cool. Um, please be nice to us at Nationals because we're working hard. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Love you. Hey, Keely on the Go fans. It is after our gala performance. I got my Spring Awakening shirt on. I am on the stage of the Chomp right now because our Chomp is empty. We are currently breaking down and unloading our set. <laughs> our set into a bus to take to Nationals in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Keely's going and she's going fast. Going. See? Let's go to Nebraska. Here's some somebody on the other side. Raw footage. Here we see a lot of doors being moved into our U-Haul. In our U-Haul, you see Megan. This entire U-Haul is going to be full of broken down set pieces. Um, so we are all hustling. We have exactly 60 minutes to break down our set after we get done with our final bout of the show. So, you know, we are rushing. Basically, I got permission from Miss Hand to have this be my contribution to breaking it down, although I have been doing some heavy labor, so don't worry. Alistair, how's this been for you? Um, this is extraordinarily exciting. Do you feel like you're getting a workout? I feel like I'm getting a vocal workout yelling over people. Yelling over people. We've yeah. been doing some hard labor for a while right now. It's true. Actually, we, here's, here's some raw, raw stuff going in. We're currently putting a foam pad, a foam pad over the window so we don't break our set when we are going to Nebraska. Uh, I'll check back in with you in a minute. Hi, Keely 
on the go here, currently walking to my vehicle after a very successful set strike. Um, I'm using my keys as a microphone because sometimes you have to improvise. Currently we're going to get some after show um, tapas at a cute little Mexican restaurant and we just got a riveting speech from our director, Sean Han. Uh, who's been working really hard. She's telling us to sleep this week. You can't sleep when you're always Thank going. You. Good night. Take care of ourselves, which is always good advice for any performer, but especially us, when you're going as much as I do, when you're keenly on the go, you really do have to take your time to not go and, and, and rest, even though I said keenly can't sleep because she's going, you know, you have to find balance, and that's the lesson that I'd like you to take away um, from life. Um, if you tweet me, um, at Keely Sucks, uh, a message of what you got from Spring Awakening, Something maybe will happen, maybe not. See you guys in Lincoln. There's a moment you know you're fucked. 